this is Susan. Welcome back. This is my inspiration series part three. And if you're new, welcome. And let me give you a short background about my channel. I sew doll clothes and my videos for the most part are for the beginning sewist. My viewers seem to enjoy my Dollar Tree to Cute Me series where I take items from the Dollar Tree and make a doll outfit or accessories. This is one of my favorites. It's a jumper made from a stuffed bunny toy. I use my very basic pattern bundle listed in my Etsy shop to sew most of the outfits seen in my videos. Sometimes I offer a freebie outfit. On, the, on some of the videos. The inspiration series is all about taking drawings, photos, um, etc., and using the bundle pattern to create a similar look. My objective is to show you that you don't have to buy a new pattern every time you want a new doll outfit. Part one and two in the inspiration series shows how to make the five outfits shown here. Today I have five more to show you. Before I get started, let me draw attention to this person who drew all these little designs. Sometimes I show you step-by-step -step instructions. Sometimes I sh bring my sewing machine and show you um, real-time sewing. This time I'm going to do kind of a show and tell so I can get all five outfits in one video. I'll show you um, each piece and which pattern I used, and uh, the variations. Let's start with the boot. I, I haven't finished it, but um, I made it from felt. Felt is really easy to work with. Um, I put this little machine, machine stitch just as a variation. And this is the boot pattern on the pattern bundle. I feel like I need to show you one more time how to get to the detailed instructions. Go to my YouTube page, go to playlist, go to capsule wardrobe, and the next item is a coat right here, sweater, coat, leggings. The coat pattern is right here in my pattern bundle. And I made the coat reversible. The pattern bundle or the video will show you how to um, line a coat and to match the little picture it just had some kind of little um, I couldn't tell exactly what it had on it so I just cut uh, some flowers out of this fabric and sewed it on with a blanket stitch and the picture had a um, elbow patch. For the scarf, I just folded a piece of fabric and sewed it together and then turned it. The dress pattern shows a top with a skirt. You could do that. But I went ahead and made my top a little bit longer and attached a shorter skirt to it to make kind of a, a low-waisted dress. An easy way to get um, these different layers onto an outfit is to sew your layers together first. Okay, I've got two layers of fabric or two strips of fabric. I'm putting them right sides together. You sew it, then press it open, and then lay your pattern on it. And I like to make the inside as neat as possible. Um, you just made the, the uh, video shows you how to make a half of a lining for a top. Um, so I made the top first and attached the gathered skirt to it. I sewed just a strip of fabric at the bottom of the skirt. I measured about an inch, I guess. I put a decorative stitch on it. So I put this strip of fabric. You can always do this if your doll is bigger than the pattern, which sometimes that happens. The model doll that I use with the short hair, she has a wider body than the rest of my dolls. 
So here it is. It's somewhat close. Next outfit is this one. Decided not to make the hat. I might make it later. The outfit had this little um, jacket thrown over the shoulder. I used the sweater pattern, which shows you how to put a binding around the neckline, some extended sleeves, and I cut this from a shirt that had a little graphic on it. I thought that was cute. The skirt was the easiest part. I took the sleeve of a sweater and just cut it off. That's the bottom of the sweater sleeve. The blouse, I haven't perfected the collar yet. I'm going to keep working on that and I'll show it to you at some point. I used this top pattern and you see where it has flounces. I added the flounces and then I just put a couple little tucks at the end of the short sleeve and that makes it look like a puffy sleeve. The shoes are just the basic shoe pattern include it in this pattern bundle. The top is, I get a lot of use out of this uh, sleeveless and plus it's easy. It doesn't have that curved seam that's kind of hard for beginners to do. This little top was fun. It'll give you a taste for quilting. I made This is how I make doll blankets. I'll show you how. First of all, you sew several strips together. Then you cut the strips. That's maybe two inches. You, it's no exact measurement. And then you stagger it. You sew the strips, to, you sew the strips together. Then I fold it and I put the A-line part of the dress on the fold and I just cut. I sewed the top part onto the uh, quilted part, quilted looking part and had a cute little top. And you make it the length that you want. You can make it longer, make a whole dress, or you can make it even shorter if you want it to. This uh, next outfit, super easy. And again, I used that same sleeveless pattern. I couldn't believe my luck. See this right here? It's a scarf, and it's kind of a moss green. Can you believe how cute these boots are? I couldn't believe it. Um, that's the tassel of the scarf. I just made the boot, folded that over, cut off the excess, and then kind of tacked it down or it just was, you know, doing that. See what I mean? It's hard to see. I love it. All right. You can see that she has this kind of a little shirt kind of falling off her arms. That's what this is. And again, this is just the basic top pattern. I cut it short. All this is finished with a serge. You could use a... Um, decorative stitch or zigzag. The variation on this top is that pattern. I top stitched rather than put real pockets. I just top stitched a brighter green. There's some more top stitching and I just did the front. You could do both sides. And then I added a um, ruffle and I made it reversible. Here we go. I could put some, I'll probably put some little buttons, real buttons down right here, maybe three. But that's cute also. And of course it's easy to make um, capris out of the pants pattern or you lengthen the short pattern, either way. And I love to use this stretch um, denim. It's so easy for the to slip it on and off the doll. This one I came close. Um, I had this sweater fabric, but I didn't make the hats this time. Well, first I just made the strip of fabric and surged it. That's the scar. They sit top with just some pockets, and I sewed those on by hand. And that's knit, so they're not going to um, fray. I, I do this a lot. I make a little tube, 
and without having to um, have a lot of layers on the doll, you just put the tube on their arm and then put the um, shirt on top of the tube. I did make some longer capris and then I couldn't match these perfectly but this is again just some tubes and you put them on top and scrunch them up a little bit and that's what it looked like to me instead of making socks that would go down in these shoes I just made tubes for this and this I didn't make the gloves the shoes I used felt so easy and you don't have to finish anything I even did that by hand Oh, and the purse. Don't you love it? It's, I just shaped, what, a half circle, a long half circle, and stuck a pretty button on it, and that's um, uh, ribbon. All right, last one. This one I chose a couple of different color fabrics. I felt like I had made enough brown shoes. Um, I had this fabric left over from where I cut off the hem to hem a dress for me, and I had quite a lot. I'm short. So uh, I thought these made really super cute shoes. And again, I'm going to have to go back on all the shoes I've shown you today and put this little strip on it, you know, so it'll finish up nicely. Again, I didn't make the hat. The little pink vest, I used uh, knit fabric. And I put a little stay stitch here so it wouldn't... Um, unravel or um, pull apart and I cut down so it would go over the doll's head didn't hem it or anything I just sewed the seams cut it on the fold at the top easy peasy this skirt had kind of little frog closures I didn't get that elaborate I just took some grain ribbon and just kind of looped it. <laughs> we'll pretend it's fancy frog closures. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to put a strip of Velcro here. And that's how that skirt will close. And it's just an A-line. If you want to, you can use that pattern just to get your A-line. Against some tubes for this part and the coat I think I'm gonna fancy it up a little bit more I lined it I did not make it reversible I just put a lining in it and this one has stars well I have hearts I did have time to fancy up the um, coat put the epaulets on it just strip of fabric I put fake welt pockets. It's just a um, piece of fabric, fold it. I even used a protractor. Do they still use these? To get the same angle on both pockets. I didn't have a whole lot of silver buttons, but I did have, I mean gold, but I did have a lot of buttons. So I've seen other people use fingernail polish. I don't think I'd do that on people clothes, but on doll clothes that you don't have to wash. It seems like a, something good to use. And I um, will put a button up at the shoulder also. Okay, and I folded it down so it would have a lapel. Thanks for watching.